Minister for Flinders. Last week was the Youth Voice in Parliament Week, which champions the voices of young people in our Australian Parliament. This year, participants were asked, what should Australia's new parliament accomplish? Through the group Raise Our Voice, I received a number of local contributions, three of whom I'm going to cite today, from Taj Carver, Lucy Shepherd, and Ava Ross. I start with Taj Carver, who I will read in full, for there is nothing I like more than a 15-year-old who has come to grips with section 44 of the Australian Constitution. Dear Mr Speaker, <coughs> Madam Deputy Speaker, and members of parliament, my name is Taj Carver. I am a 15-year-old student and I was born in Australia and I have lived here all my life. I am planning to study law further on in my education and I'm also very interested in politics. I follow it on a day-to-day -day basis and I would like perhaps to become a politician someday. However, for me and many other people at present, this is impossible. Once I turn 18, I will meet every criteria for eligibility to become a politician in this country bar one, section 44.1 of the constitution. As it happens, my mother migrated here from the United Kingdom. So even though I'm not from the UK, nor have I ever lived there, nor does the British government even know of my existence, I am considered a dual citizen. As it stands, the only way for me to become a federal politician is for me to renounce my British citizenship. But to whom am I supposed to write, given they do not know who I am? Australia prides itself nowadays on being a highly multicultural society, but this law is discriminatory and prevents the Australian people from being truly represented. All I want to do is help make our country a better place, but currently I'm being discouraged by this outdated arbitrary law. Thank you. Lucy Shepherd, aged 15, wrote passionately about her concern for home ownership and affordable housing. Hi, I'm Lucy. I'm 15 and I live on the Mornington Peninsula. I would hope and wish for the new Australian Parliament to introduce a national housing policy to help secure stable and affordable housing for all Australians. There is a housing crisis in our country affecting Australians every day, whether that is families, students or the now or soon to be homeless. Affordable housing is essential for Australian communities as it impacts mental and physical health, personal relationships, education and employment outcomes. The new parliament needs to focus on safe and affordable housing because it will benefit every Australian. And young Ava Ross, aged just 13, wrote on our environment, if we can learn how to respect our beautiful planet, it will help replenish our earth. We can do this by using natural resources, reusing space and recycling. If humans wish for a better future here, we need to take action now. We need people in charge we can trust to make a change. I thank Taj, Lucy, Ava and others for their careful and passionate words and look forward to bringing their voices and others like them into this chamber during my time in this place. Thank you. Thank you.